Hello, I'm Robo Sparkle. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the early bell glitch in Ark of Asylum. So, <clears throat> this is a glitch that's discovered by Diabuck or Diablo Head, um, one of the um, Ark of Asylum speedrunners, and was further refined with um, Honorable J, who discovered a new method of doing it. So, this is done when you first enter the mansion. Um, so, in a speedrun, you can basically just skip everything, glide through. I'm pretty sure gliding is the fastest way. I think Honorable J uses the gargoyles. Don't think it's a huge difference either way. So basically, uh, it just runs to the end, and you want to grab that up here. Normally, you'd go through the door on the left as you're running up um, to go to the archives room, save Aaron Cash, scan Dr. Young's fingerprints. We skip all of that. Um, we skip Nightmare 2, and instead, basically, because at the end of Nightmare 2, what happens is you cut down this bell up here, and it opens a new pathway for you, allowing you to continue through the mansion. So that is what we're going to attempt to achieve with this glitch. So I'm going to grab them up here. So this is the um, little uh, uh, balcony with the uh, Chronicles of Arkham on it. Grab them up to this vent up here, and then climb to the very top. Right. So just a quick point on placements. Um, I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes. Honorable J recommends for his gap that you stand in the middle around here um, for the bucks skip which uh, Diabuck's gap which Diabuck and um, Ollie use they tend to stand on the right edge of the vent so again not a huge difference but apparently it helps um, I've st I always stand in the middle for Honorable J's one um, and it works pretty consistently for me but the best thing to do is just to try it yourself so that's where you're standing so um, Use the texting mode to line this up because it's a lot easier. Now the first thing you want to do is get out your regular batarang, not your remote control batarang. What we're going to do is throw a remote control batarang through the gap here, pilot it over to the bell and cut the bell rope, which will send the bell um, down. Um, so it's you kind of throw it through this gap here where I'm aiming now, roughly speaking. Um, I don't tend to aim using it zoomed in so I don't know where it needs to be placed. I always aim zoomed out. So, you want to put the um, you want to put the batarang around this sort of area. Now to line it up the best thing to do is to use the action cam on the batarang to get that lined up properly. Um, the way you throw the action cam on the batarang, so on Xbox instead of the right trigger you, you press the RB button. Um, on PS3 it's R1, I don't know what it is on PC using keyboard controls but um, that button when you're aiming a weapon will use the action cam. It's also the, the button that detonates your explosive gel but if you use it on the batarang, on the multi batarang, on the back claw etc then it will become uh, an action cam. Uh, you never use it because it looks crappy in speedruns and slows down time and so on but it's very useful here for getting yourself lined up. So. This first one's going to miss, so it's not quite accurate. So what happens there is even though the batarang goes through, um, the camera stops at the boards and you can hear a little thunk. Sometimes it will look like the batarang's gone through and you won't hear anything, but the camera will still stop here. You've still missed. Um, so what you need to do is line it up just slightly differently, and this is what happens. So now the this is the action camera of the batarang. It's gone through, and what happened is it'll either hit this bar here, or it'll go through and hit the ceiling. In this case it hits the ceiling, but either way, it means you've got it right. So, this is about where it is uh, lined up in detective mode, makes it a bit easier to see. Um, so you can see now this circular bit, in fact both of these bits move while you're aiming, so it's kind of annoying to get down. But essentially, you want your top arrow to be just off of the um, sort of more vertical uh, gap and you want the right hand arrow to be just off uh, just off the top of the sort of more horizontal part of the gap. Uh, it's not an exact science but um, once you've tried it a few times you should get used to it. Throw the batarang. Now so you know you've got it. So now you switch to your remote control batarang. So, so what happens is this will go a bit pretty slowly. You can't speed up or slow down the batarang. Um, now, you want to leave it until it's uh, just gone through. I'm just going to do a quick frame advance here. There. So, you don't want to do anything at all to the controls until it's got through. Now, you're reasonably lenient on this. 
but let's just bear that in mind. Now the Batarang controls are kind of awkward because it is difficult to turn. Um, on a controller, you will need to use both sticks to get this to work. Um, if you're using keyboard controls, then um, apparently you, you've got like four four keyboard buttons basically, which each go down, up, down, left, and right. So pretty simple. Um, on a controller, you've got two analog sticks. I'm assuming it's the same for PS3 on X as it is on Xbox. This is done on Xbox. So what will happen then? Once it goes through, you want to hold one stick left and the right stick down. There's a complicated reason why you don't want to do it diagonally, but essentially if you do, if you hold one of the six diagonally, it doesn't give you as much left or down as you need. Um, I'll put a link to Honourable Jay's explanation in the forums as to why this is. Uh, so if you are interested, then give that a read. So you want to hold one left, one stick left and one stick down uh, as soon as it gets through. And I'll uh, explain when to let those go in a little bit. Basically, if you don't, then it will kind of curve, but not really. And you'll just end up hitting the top. That's how you know you've not done enough turning. So, uh, basically, if you miss a remote control, this is why you line it up, by the way, with the regular batarangs instead of the remote batarangs, because of the... Um, the time it takes to get your remote control battering back. So, throw it through. And then, right, let's do some frame advancing here. Get through, get through, get through, get through. So, once it's through, so you want to start holding left and down here. One stick left, one stick down. And then, what will happen is you'll see it go towards the rope. And what happens is that the rope is kind of weird this part of the rope near the top doesn't exist the rope stops existing it's hard to tell but somewhere around here the rope stops existing now you shouldn't be able to go too low on this that you shouldn't it shouldn't be possible to go too much down that you'll hit the wrong part of the rope but it is very easy to go too high and hit the wrong part of the rope um, the hitbox of the rope is also very weird as well um, as you can see, it's very, very easy to clip anything with the edges of the batarangs and it will, the, the batarang will hit it and it will stop moving and so on. Um, but with the rope, you need the centre of the batarang, this bit which is glowing blue, you need the kind of this to go through the centre of the rope. So it's kind of awkward and it does mean that you can hit it in lots of ways that make you look like, make it look like you've got it through the rope and you've missed. Um, so you're going to have to kind of practice it a few times to get it through. But what will happen is you want that centre of the batarang to go through. And the way it works is you basically keep holding left and down. Left with one stick, down with the other. And then at some point, once you... It's, it's hard to tell sort of visually, but once you've visually lined it up, you want to let go of left, keep holding down. Uh, I tend to let go of them both if it looks like I've got it, but it, you have to individualise it. The point is, is you don't need to let go of down, but you do need to get let, let go of left at some points. And it will cut through. So just frame advance so you can see it. So as you can see, the centre of the batarang is right in the centre of the rope. This is basically as clean as it gets. And sliced. And that's the bell. So I'll just show that to you a bit quicker. You can see it. So if you saw right at the end there. So it starts curving. Hang on. So basically what happens is as it goes through, you see me start to curve it to the left. And then very soon after that I stop holding left. You see it stops curving to the left, but it carries on curving downwards a bit because I'm still holding down. And then bell falls down, smashes the gates, blocking the door to Sharp's office. And you can go and rescue, open quotation marks, Dr. Young from Zaz. See? It will update your objectives automatically. Uh, bear in mind, those of you who want to do 100%, you will need to rescue Aaron Cash and scan Dr. Young's fingerprints before performing the skip, um, because otherwise you won't be able to 
otherwise you won't be able to do that section anymore however there's still you in 100 percent you can still skip scarecrow you can still skip the library um, using this so it's still worth it overall on hard mode it saves about 11 and a half minutes um, if you get it perfectly in easy mode it's slightly less something around 10 minutes because the predator rooms and the combat take less time in easy so you save less time in those um, but if you're planning on speedrunning this game definitely a skip worth learning hopefully this should make it pretty easy so the other thing I'm going to show you this is the this is basically the first version of the bell skip the one that Diabug found um, so massive shout outs to him who basically chucked loads and loads of batarangs at this floorboard to find, try and find a gap and found this one so for this one you kind of want to be standing a bit further to the right on the top of the vent um, and you, you can see it there in detective mode I think this one misses yeah so that one hits it so this is this is how you want it to be lined up in this one again the left arrow very slightly to the left of um, if you see all this, this L gap the very slightly to the left of the horizontal part and then the right is just off the right of the L part there so you can see it and again just make sure chuck a few action cam batarangs using the RB button or R1 if you're on PS3 I've, um, and it should go through quite nicely and hit the window. The remote bass rank is a bit more complicated um, for frame advance than this one. Uh, I really do not have this down pat at all. I've caught it a few times, but I cannot make it consistent. Um, Oli JS100 and Diebuck have got ways of making it con more consistent. Um, but you, you've just got to kind of work at it. Um, again, it's a bit of a longer flight, so you've got to be a bit more practiced with the. Um, with the remote control battering, as you can see, I didn't really get it there. I don't get it at all in this next one either. Um, but again, you'll find it a lot easier if you use both sticks. So one stick for left, one stick for down. And that's what happens if you throw it too early as well. That happens in, in, the, uh, in the other gap as well. If you throw the battering and turn it too early, then you'll just hit the, the floorboards. Should go without saying. But you do have fairly comfortable margin to do that on. And uh, that's everything. So feel free to leave questions or comments. Um, and I'll do my best to answer them. Huge shout outs to um, Diabuck for initially finding that skip. Um, to um, Ollie for attempting to um, help me form a more consistent method of, uh, of, of using his gap. For Honourable Jay for coming up with another gap. And um, for explaining... Uh, why the battering controls don't really work properly if you only use one stick. Um, there's, a, there's a link to the forum in the co in the uh, about section, so you follow that if you want a bit more complicated explanations to um, the uh, about the Unreal Engine that this game uses. Um, and yeah, hope that helps. All right, cheers. Bye for now.